Uh, Michael Neville here with a short video about the pros and cons of horse breeding. There aren't many pros to it at the moment but of course uh, the big pro to horse breeding has always been to see what the horse will achieve. That's why you always breed the best horses you can possibly breed. Uh, seeing what they'll do under the saddle, seeing them shown in hand. If they win at shows, particularly you sell them on to other people and they produce them and they win at a big show and uh, they, get, they do well show jumping and that. It's always to great Neville. excitement in that. You know, door, uh, it's always nice to see horses that you bred win. The downside, the cons that. to it, of course, now you lose money, you've always lost money, but there's no market for them now. The market for them is tiny unless you have something very special. You're not going to get any money at all. You probably won't even get back the covering fee. The price of hay and straw has gone up. The price of horse feed has gone up. Diesel has gone up. Breeding out of a mare, you, ha you end up spending a lot on vets. The foal has to be cared for really close attention we all know that first 30 days absolutely critical they can get scour and all sorts of things and if you don't look after them uh, you know you, you will have your losses and there's always the risk that you will lose a foe you really have to spend the money and spend the time looking after them and doing what's necessary to produce them and at the end of the day if uh, you know you're going to lose a lot of money and you're not going to get any of the cost back. It's not worthwhile. So we've decided not to breed this year. To Mary Neville. She wins with our Blackmore Rinkarua. Chestnut Fold.